What's going on everybody? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel and welcome to a brand new car added into Forza Motorsport. That's not Motorsport. Forza Horizon 4. We got ourselves a Chevy Impala SS and I'm sorry. I'm a European person, right? So you don't see these around ever. Am I the only one who thinks that this is such a baller car? It looks so good. I absolutely love this car. Absolutely love it. It's such a cool, cool car. Again, like I said, you don't see these here at all in Europe. Obviously, it's a it's an American car. But it's so good, especially with these wheels. Just everything about it, it just screams cool. I love this thing so, so much. Uh, I really don't know what exactly we can do to this car, which is what we're going to be trying out in this video. We're going to go ahead and try to see if we can modify this thing. Maybe even get it to slide. We'll see. But uh, it's such a cool looking car. I love the Impala, especially this generation, this version. It's so, so cool. Well, obviously, as you guys know, this is also used as, or was used, I think, as a police car, and also... Was this used as a taxi as well? I'm not entirely sure, but I know it was used as a as a police car before. I highly doubt that they're still used nowadays. But, right now, this is fully stock. It just runs out of, <laughs> runs out of power halfway through a corner in second yet. It's only got four gears. It does have a V8. It's fairly slow. Let's just put it that way. It's 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 very slow. I'm just still trying to slide this thing for some reason. Completely stuck. Let's just go modify this thing. Let's just modify it. There's no reason for me to just sit here. Drive this thing stuck because it's just not gonna happen. Um big question, what can we do to it? Can we do any police style mods to this thing? That is, that's a question here that I want to try to see. Usually what you can do is change the side skirts. Ooh, this is, this is interesting. Um, so we have the Forza parts there pretty much. Um, oh, okay. So we have a little lip spoiler. I'm not going to put that on. I'm going to leave that the way it is. Usually with the side skirts, uh, especially cars that you can, um, you can have sirens on. If you change the side skirts, it'll change the lights at the top. So am I right in saying that if I do that? Yes, it's got. It's got lights at the top. I'm not going to put them on, but we do have lights at the top. It's so funny, though. It's like <laughs> they're made out of carbon fiber. I, that is kind of... Eh, I might put them on. Just Should I? Yeah, why not? We'll, we'll make it more interesting. That just looks funny. All right, so another thing. Can we have drift suspension? Oh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right, this is going to be interesting. We're going to literally have a drift police car. Is this like Drift Police Guy 2.0? Because you have the Crown Vic in the game. Okay. Uh, it's got 5.7 liter V8 at the moment. We can swap it with an LS or a racing V8. Uh, sure. Why not? Let's do that. Let's, let's have a, a twin turbo racing V8. I'll keep this uh, rear wheel drive as well. I'm not going to all-wheel drive it because that'll be stupid. Um, as for our wheels, I absolutely love the wheels that are already on it now, so I'm probably not going to do anything to those. I will, however, put some, some race tires, especially since we know for a fact we're going to squeeze out a thousand, like, three hundred horsepower, something like that, with this, uh, with this engine, because we've had it before. As for our rear wheels, we can go super, super wide. Um, 305s would do. What's our front end? 285s, 305s in the rear end? Yeah, that'll do. We'll, we'll keep that. I mean, it's, it's quite a lot, uh, but... We are going to have to slide this thing, especially with 1,300 horsepower just to the rear wheels. So, having thick, thick tires should be, uh, should be good. Now, pretty much just upgrade everything to race spec. And, uh, I think we're pretty much done. I really just like the way this thing looks. I'm sorry for people that wanted me to modify this thing heavily. Obviously, we can't really do a lot of stuff to it, uh, visually, but... The lights at the top are decent. I'll, I'll keep those on. Other than that... Yeah, not much we can do here. So yeah, I was right. 1,300 horsepower, 1,300 kilos. That's fairly light. That's fairly light for a big American car. Okay, cool. Let's put it on. No no tune at all. We'll immediately get sliding with this thing. I'll bring it over to Fortune Island just to try it out. Just to try it out on the the, the, the proper the proper sections. Um, what's our gear ratio set to? They're fairly stretched out. Uh, we'll keep them the way they are for the moment. As for everything else, I'm going to keep pretty much the way it is. You know what? I'll lock the, I'll lock the diff. I'll just fully lock the diff. And uh, that's pretty much it. Not going to do anything else. Let's uh, let's try to slide this thing. I'm pretty sure it's going to slide very, very easy. Yeah. I mean, it has no reason to not slide easily.
I'm not looking for any like point drifting or anything like that with this guy. I'm just looking for it to to slide. It's got a lot more power now. It's got a lot more power now. I think it's got just the right amount of grip as well. I like this. It's nice. It's nice and smooth to drive. I don't know why I decided to immediately go into cockpit mode, but it's nice and smooth to drive. It's not bad. All right, let's hop over to Fort Island. We'll try to run down the, down the mountain and then we'll see if this thing is good or bad, like properly good or bad. Um, because right now just testing it out on normal roads feels, feels, feels okay. Doesn't feel any, any crazy or different to any standard, standard saloon car. I knew something felt different. My FOV was changed because the game updated. I was just so close to the, to the car. My camera was anyway. Yeah, this is much better. Alright. With the lights and everything. I even have the siren on. Um, I may need to mess with my gears just a tiny bit. Or else just keep it at third, which I could just do. This has got a huge amount of power. Spins those rear wheels very, very easily. Again, I'm not really looking for for point drifting or anything like that. This isn't really tuned for anything. At all, actually, it's not, it's not tuned at all, it just has the upgraded setup on it, and that's it. Just look at the try see how smooth I can I can slide this thing. It's easy. It's easy to control. Nothing too crazy with this car. It's just a weird little drift build. It's such a cool car. I really, really like this thing. It's really smooth. It's nice. It's nice to drive. Very, very easy to hold angle as well. I think I'm going to try to go a little bit more... More harder in the corners and stuff like that. I'll do one more run. Am I seeing that the middle light, the brake light, is like turned on? I wonder if that's the case, like is it actually turned on or is it just like really really reflective? Anyway, we'll do one more run. I'll come downhill again, uh, we'll try a little bit harder this time, and I'm gonna change the sim steering as well. For people that don't know, I've been getting asked, especially in that video that I uploaded um, recently, people are asking me, like, why am I using things sim steering? What's the point of using it? Um, why would you not just use normal steering? Because it looks very twitchy with sim steering. Yes, you are right, it does look very twitchy. The reason why you do... I literally made a video about this. I made a video explaining and showing the difference between sim steering and normal steering. The reason why you'd use sim steering is because when you transition from side, like when I'm doing this, and I try to transition to the other side, it does it so much faster. Where if you're doing point drifting, for example, you'll miss out on less points. So, if I'm doing this and I'm on normal steering, it would take so long for me to transition to the other side. Whereas with this, it sort of snaps a little bit, you know, a little bit harsher, a little bit quicker. So, I'll miss out on less points whenever you transition because obviously you get no points when you transition. Uh, because you're tra literally just traveling in a straight line. You're not, you're not at an angle. So when you use sim steering, it is a little bit quicker. Yes, it does look slightly more twitchy with some cars, especially with the tunes that are, are on them, especially with the Formula Drift cars, to be more precise. Um, it does look more twitchy, but for point drifting, sim steering is definitely the way to go. Definitely the way to go, if you're trying to get points. I don't think there's anybody at the top of the leaderboards uh, of, of drift any of the drift zones with normal steering. It's, it's just impossible. 
And if there is, then you're missing out on even more points. Because you're not using Sim Stadium. But yeah, super easy to control. Again, no tune on it whatsoever. You guys have seen me just literally upgrade this thing, just take it out sliding. Same steering and all, just very, very easy. The gears are slightly, slightly, slightly too long, but it seems fine on this section. It just, just use third gear pretty much for all the corners. And you're good. This is much more interesting to me, for example, than the, um, the McLaren 12C. Because we've got another car in the game that's brand new, which is the McLaren 12C. I've never seen the Impala in the game before. I don't remember having it in previous Forza titles, but I remember having the, the 12C, I think, in previous games. So this is much more interesting to me than, than the 12C. If you guys don't have this, the way to get it is just get yourselves to 50%. I mean, I, this is going to be a very, very rare car once this... Uh, what this week, this week finishes and people haven't gotten it, this is going to be super, super rare. So I kind of recommend purchasing these. Like, if you guys are watching this video and people just got these and are selling them on the auction house, I highly recommend you guys buy these out very, very quickly. Um, especially if they sell them for cheap because I think they're going to be very rare. I mean, all you have to do is just get to 50% to on this uh, autumn season like playlist and that's it you can't buy it or anything from the auto uh from the auction house or, or or not the auction house the auto show or anything like that you literally have to win it so i think it's going to be very very expensive i don't know like if there is any on the auction house i'm going to go check right now if there is any on the auction house right now that are cheap i'm buying them all of them there has to be there has to be at least one i feel like that'd be that'd be something that uh that people do i i, I honestly don't know to be completely honest because there is there is some smart people out there that just won't list this thing. Uh, is it an 86 Impala? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, there's none on the auction house. There is literally none on the auction house. So yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a very, very rare car. I think w once people figure out how rare this thing is, if they sell them now, like just, just don't sell it. Just don't sell it. You'll regret selling this thing because you won't be able to get it back. Because it's going to be so rare. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Nice simple video showcasing the brand new car added into the game. Obviously, it's completely pitch black now and you can't see anything. Uh, so I'm going to go back into the festival again. Uh, but yeah, new car added into the game. Chevy Impala. You get it by completing 50% of this season. Or not the season, but this week. Um, with the autumn season is what I meant to say. Uh, yeah, you can have some police lights on it and you can drift the hell out of it. So that's kind of cool. But yeah. Again, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.